What's up buttercups? Today I want to walk you through a tutorial on how to sprout things like buckwheat and nuts and seeds. I love sprouted buckwheat. It's one of my favorite things to put on smoothies for extra crunch instead of sugar laden granola. So the reason you want to sprout anything in the first place is because it makes it easier to digest, especially with nuts and seeds. They have a layer on them that is supposed to be for their protection so that we don't eat them and it's supposed to be hard for our bodies to digest. So Sprouting actually helps us digest those foods a little bit easier. You can sprout a lot of things from nuts, seeds, legumes, you know, beans, chickpeas, that sort of thing. Lentils, you can eat them raw if you, you sprout them. Uh, buckwheat, which I'll be showing you today. So I'm going to walk you through a tutorial specifically on how to sprout buckwheat. Um, but this applies to anything else you might want to sprout, except for nuts. Usually you can't grow a tail out of <laughs> a nut, like fully sprout it, but you do want to soak it overnight. So at least do the first part of this tutorial with your nuts to make them more easily digestible. Just soak them overnight in water, filter clean water, and then dehydrate them or dry them out the next day. So basically all you're going to do or all you're going to need is a big jar. This is 32 ounce glass jar. And you're just going to take whatever you want to sprout, put it into the jar. I don't have that much buckwheat left, so just a little bit. You can fill the jar about halfway to three quarters full. Don't pull it all the way to the top because what's going to happen is your product will expand um, as it's soaking up that water. And so if it's all the way to the top and then you have water in there, it's going to explode out or not have anywhere to go. Um, and then all you're gonna do is add water. Um, you don't, I don't need that much because I only have a little bit of buckwheat. If you're halfway full, fill it almost to the top, just short of the top because again, everything's going to expand and so that water will reach to the top. You don't want it to be too full. And all I'm gonna do is put the lid on and let this soak for 12 hours, about overnight. So anything you wanna soak, usually four hours is the minimum, but overnight 12 hours is even better. And then after that, so tomorrow, I'm just gonna rinse this off, um, drain it in a colander, and then rinse it really well with water, especially with buckwheat, it gets kind of this slime on it. And so you wanna rinse that off really well. It's just those uh, enzymes being released, so it's not a big deal. And then all you're going to do is Put it in a colander or you can get these mesh lids so that you can leave your um, whatever you're sprouting in the jar but I'm out of them I lost them when I moved to New Mexico so I just put my whatever in a colander and spread it out evenly into the colander and then just let it sit there and then you're just gonna rinse it off every 12 hours so every morning and every evening for a few days and so you start to see a little tail growing out of the buckwheat or out of the seed that you're sprouting or even like chickpeas or lentils. Once it's reached uh, the point where you're ready to eat it, all you have to do is dehydrate it. You can do this in a few ways. You can put it into a dehydrator. Usually about 12 hours really dehydrates things well. Or you can lay it out on a pan and put it in sunlight so that it can be sun dried. And then if you don't have a dehydrator, you can also put it in the oven at the lowest temperature with the door slightly cracked. That will actually help keep the temperature a little bit lower and try not to heat them above a raw temperature, which is about 110 to 120 degrees, depending on who you ask. Um, so those are the three ways you can dehydrate things once they've sprouted, and then you can use them however you want. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Don't forget to check out my social media, which is linked below as well. And I will see you in the next video.